And good morning from the Turkish Airlines Open. Look, it says right there. Just left the hotel, we are here on the uh, 18th for some reason, and we're wandering through down to get to the fan zone now, just to show you a little bit around. Bit of a shame we're on limited time today because we're actually flying back. So we're gonna get as much out of the morning as we can. Just picked up our badges, VIP. So that's gonna allow us to go to the club. I'll show you off and around there as well. The course looks absolutely immaculate. It does look immaculate. They may, I mean, I've, I've heard through the grapevine that if there's any dropouts, me and Rick might get the call up, so I'm gonna have to move the flight around a little bit, but we'll have to wait and see. Rick's ready, he's got his bag. Right, his monopod, he's got his bag in his monopod. That's all you need. That is all you need. So I need to make magic feet. You know that. I do know that. Please withdraw the curtain, and we have. Oh, wow. ah, that's the look. Hey. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> He was awful. I didn't crash. Twice. <laughs> so this is a 180 degree screen, so this is what the pilot is in. It's actually a, a proper proper simulator from what I've been told. So this is what the pilots use to train. Nice, hello. Hey guys, in the back this is Captain Rick speaking. <laughs> There's nothing in your hand, Rick. There's nothing in your hand. You don't have anything in your hand. Please fasten your seatbelt, ready for landing. This could be a rough one. We're landing here. Get two of them. Istanbul. Istanbul, so they go to is this Istanbul? Yes. All right. I, I you know, I'm not. I'm not sure I trust you as a pilot if you don't know where you're going. <laughs> I think this was Istanbul. <laughs> Big break. I wait to handbrake you when you land. Oh, we're coming in. We're coming in. We're a bit off. We're a bit off. We're a bit off. Oh no, we get back onto it. We get back onto it. We get back onto it. Spin! Congratulations. Alright guys, in the back, this is Captain Rick speaking. Well done. Well done, well done everyone. <laughs> nice close look at the 18th here. Looks like they've cut the greens down a little bit more from when we played it. And that could mean only one thing. Best greens. And yeah, you're right, that, that pin. For a Thursday pin. This is only Thursday. Those bunkers there just to the left of the pin are super super deep. Rick made a uh, awesome up and down from there actually. It's growing a healthy-ish breakfast. I always, I'm always panning up to you Rick when you're on your phone and you're eating. I'm sorry mate. What do I do? What else do I, what else do, I do? It's just an... <laughs> This is the pro shop. This is the pro shop. And it's massive. This is the biggest pro shop you've seen? It's the biggest pro shop I've seen. Uh, oh, no, Rick, keep walking. You know what? This, this makes a very good effect. Just talk, oh, hello. It's seen bigger, but it does have an incredible stock of clothing. I've seen bigger than this. Go on, you've got two more hours to go. Someone's watching you when you're like in a library or something. <laughs> oh, yeah, all that time they were spending libraries. <laughs> Just the side of the putting green. Danny Willett rolling one home. Very good timing. This is a ridiculous putting green. We measured it out um, just after the pro am, just to make sure we got an accurate reading. 420 yards. So it's, uh, it's pretty impressive. 420 yards. And in that put that Danny's just hold there, that's all the 320. Distances may vary. So I need to clean the After a quick pit stop, um, find ourselves on the uh, 
on the first tee. Hi right guys, just leaving the course. It's been really cracking few days here. Absolutely love this place. It's gorgeous. Cracking. I always use cracking. That's the 15th green over there. Some players just coming off and yeah, it's been amazing. Love the clubhouse as well as well. A lot of food and orange juice. All like my good meat. Just currently got back to the hotel. Just having a bit of a sit down and a relax before packing up the room and leaving. It's a couple hours flight up to Istanbul and then it's three hours I think back to the UK and then we're getting in the car and then driving back up to Manchester which is probably going to take longer than the whole uh, travel time combined with flying unfortunately but it's just the way it is. I think with the way it's going to work I will upload one of the challenges that we did on the course with Houghton Lee and then this vlog will be landing when you're watching it on Friday. Something like that as well. I've got to get it right in my mind. It's always tricky when traveling around a lot. It's been an amazing time over here. It's been quite intensive because we've only been here for a short period of time just getting all the videos done. But the weather's been perfect. People have been great. It's awesome. Sad to be leaving. But happy to be getting back to the UK. Coaching. Yeah. It's good. It's good. Just hit ultimate Wi-Fi face. Stop dead in his tracks. Can't move until that code's in. We're in, we're in. That was Wi-Fi face. <laughs> right guys, welcome now to the Turkish Airlines Business Lounge in Istanbul. We got to spend a little bit of time here a couple of years ago, but we've got a little bit more time this year and I'm really excited about it because it's absolutely awesome. So I'll show you a little bit around. So we have a little TV wall over there. We have a golf simulator over there, which had GC2 in it last time. And it's still got GC2 in there as well in the driving range. Come over here, just got water, got snacks. We've got a scale electrics track. Obviously. Why would you not have a scale electrics track? It's the most obvious thing to have. Uh, we've got a couple of PlayStations there. I've no idea what's going on up there, but I might have a look a little bit later on. There's a view of the middle bit with the staircase and the globe, which the staircases go through. Seems to have a grand piano over there, which is fantastic. I'm just going to generally keep on walking. We've got some workstations here with Max. I'm sure I just saw a swimming pool getting a little bit delirious. It's been quite a long day. We have coffee and buffets over here, which I need to get into in a moment of time. Right guys, has to be done. I think that was 188 meters with a 7 iron. Oh. So down there is, well, where we were. And remember this last time, we didn't come up here until quite late. And it's a whole other lounge on top of a lounge. There's a cinema. Obviously. Why wouldn't there be a library in a pool room?
morning. It is Friday morning. In the morning, um, <laughs> we flew back into Heathrow late last night. We got back very early on um, this morning. <laughs> God's sake. I'm just going to get this video edited and start applying through the rest of the videos from Turkey as well and get them edited uploaded. There's loads and loads of stuff coming, some really, really cool stuff as well, which I'm very excited to show you about. Just want to say thank you again to Turkish Airlines for getting us out there and for looking after us so well and particularly me earlier on the week where yeah the whole filming was in danger really because I was just just out dodging doctors at the Regnum really helped sort me out and just get me on straight and narrow so it's really just I don't know it, it, it's been such a good week in the terms of I was really worried at the start and it turned out to actually be a fantastic week filming and one of the best weeks filming we've probably done in quite a long time. The course over there looked amazing, it should be a great end to the tournament. Uh, so if you've not checked out Rick's video, I think it was posted yesterday about being picking a winner, go over there because there's prizes to be won. A uh, tailor-made bag, a plane and other little random bits and bobs. So go over there, try and pick the winner and that competition closes today. So do that after the end of this video when I do my outro. This time of year, as mentioned before, it does start to get just that little bit crazy and we've got loads of more stuff on the horizon coming up which really, really excited to get going with as well. It just promises to be a fantastic end to 2016 and, and go into 2017 all guns blazing and yet again, we couldn't do these trips and we couldn't have these experiences to share unless you guys were subscribing and following and engaging in the way that you do. It's one of the, I think, one of the things I'm proudest about with my channel is the fact of the level of engagement that we have. It really is a good, it's good. I'm, I'm just so happy and really pleased to be in this position that we're in at the moment. So thank you so, so much for watching. Battery's about to run low, so I will say goodbye. Stay tuned for the rest of the videos. And we'll see you down here tomorrow. Bye.